All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from thearcadehunters.com. We're here for the very first time at the new Barcade here in New York City. This is right in the heart of Manhattan on West 24th Street. You can get there right off of 7th Avenue. Um, just uh, was on Instagram and I saw the guys were posting some pictures of it and I said, hey, when are you guys opening? And if I could uh, come in and take a video. So I got in touch with a couple of the guys and they're very gracious enough to open their doors early to me. So we're going to go see if they are inside and we're going to go inside and uh, give the place uh, uh, a look-see. So let's go on inside and take a look. Nick from the arcadehunters.com. We are here with my man Paul from Barcade. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Thank you so much for having me in here. Sure. So, we are here at the brand new Manhattan location. I gotta tell you, this place looks great. Wait till you see the video. So, Paul, give us the story of Barcade, if we could, in, um, the, in, the, in a nutshell. Okay, uh, well, we started with our original location, which is in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We opened in 2004, and uh, it was just, uh, a few friends and I wanted to open a bar, and I've been a collector of classic games, and uh, we decided to seem popular when people are drinking beer in yep. the house, so let's put them in a bar. So. And uh, it's, it's been working out very well it's, since you, it's worked this out is well. location number four. You have one in Jersey City yep. and one in Philadelphia. You also want to get out there, and I... Yep. I can take it uh, this one does well. We might be seeing more in the future. There's, our plans are ready for more. So. Very nice. And now are you surprised that, you know, you started, you said about, uh, the one in Brooklyn started about 10 years ago. Yeah, 2004. So you're surprised at like just how much that there's been other places like uh, we've been to Insert Coins in Las uh -huh. Vegas and there's a lot of just people that said, hey, that's the magic idea. Yeah, well we, you know, been, been fortunate to be in New York City, I think. You know, a lot of people travel to New York, and a lot of people have come to our to Barcade and we're a destination spot. So people have kind of taken the idea and gone back to their hometowns and said, we should have something like this here. And uh, I think it's cool. I mean, these games are getting like a whole new appreciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. I just love uh, coming out here because, uh, especially uh, with the new app. I would put it on the phone, but the app is really, really good because not only when uh, it's on iOS only now, right? It's right now, yeah. It's iTunes only, yeah. but we will we will be launching it for Android. But when you when you get the app, kids at home, not only will it tell you what the beer specials are, it'll also tell you what the current other game list, yes. high scores, current, and uh, what else is on there? Uh, well, directions. Yeah, it'll give you directions. Get, I I used it. I used it to get here. Um, yeah. So it. for you, like, you know, you started collecting games. What was that one that, you know, started the bug for you? Oh, I bought a Mappy. Uh, oh, they, well, is it before, yeah, just a classified mm -hmm. newspaper, yeah. So Back when they used to sell, I remember looking at yeah. the thing, they would have uh, video games and uh, pinball machines. Yeah, so a, ma a Mappy that was in really rough shape, but it had the whole, it had the, the top. Yeah, the nice banner. Yeah, so I bought that for 200 bucks. There and, you go. Uh, I got it home, and it worked, and uh, I slowly fixed it back up where it was nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then I you know I had four in my apartment before I knew it. So was that like, now what was would be your grail game? That That's the one that you had to have? Ah, uh, well, you'll see like in here, in this, in this, in this location, we really kind of went all out mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of made a list of like games that I really wanted to have, really wanted us to have on location. And uh, kind of found all of them. We got both of these. Just a Tron? Hologram behind me. Uh, Haven't seen this one about 15 years. Yeah, so. we got a food fight, and we got a slither, and we got a fire truck, and we got an arm wrestling. Six player X Men. Six player X Men. Cyberball 2072 is got, over there. We got an anteater, unfortunately. Oh, not, one of the few. We'll have a video three, of it too. Three not working. That's yeah. one of them right now. It's, it's got a bad power Still, supply. I mean, this place looks great. I can't wait to show people a video of it. and. Once you guys uh, actually have an opening date, I'll make sure to update the video below yeah. so everybody can know when uh, your grand opening is. Right. So, want to? Uh, yeah, they can watch on the app to see what broken games don't make it that we have to swap out. <laughs> You'll find out because uh, we'll it's it's always something different with these things. Yeah, with are, arcade games and pinball. There are a lot of work. You plug it in, it's like it worked yesterday. Yeah, there are a lot of work, and that's that's part of the that's one of the hardest parts about the job is like in keeping people who are our customers like understanding yeah. that they break. Mm -hmm. you know? They can't come in here and they're not going to find the same game. It's, there's going to be something wrong. Yeah, exactly. So 
So, Paul, I really have to thank you very much for having me in here for this sneak preview of the new Manhattan location. It looks absolutely beautiful. You guys are going to love this video. Definitely go and check these guys out. Cool. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for coming. So, let's take a cut, and we're going to go on the walkthrough tour of the brand new Manhattan Barcade from Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Let's go take a look. All right, everybody. This is Thursday, May 15th. It's the walkthrough of the Manhattan location of Barcade. Just to let you know, they are still not open. So uh, probably by the time they do open, you might notice some games are not the same. So we have GDI's, this is Slither. Never seen this game before, it's a trackball game. Knowing it's a trackball game, probably Mark Alpiger knows very well what Slither is. We have Charlie Chuck's Food Fight from those great guys over at General Computer that designed that. If you don't know who General Computer is, obviously the guys that made Ms. Pac-Man. They got a change machine ATM over there for, you, for the folks. You have nice Simpsons. I like what the, these guys do here. All of the four player games, the big attraction games, they keep out kind of like on, on the corner so you can get everybody around it. They got a nice seating area over here. You're going to have uh, sandwiches and stuff so you can, can get a bite to eat. The only other thing that I would complain about the uh, original location is there's nothing to get to eat. So we got, of course, we're growing up in the 80s and 90s, you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Konami, one of the all-time classic games, so let's go through. And those guys from General Computer Corps, there's Miss Pac-Man. Nice original Miss Pac-Man. Ghouls and Ghosts, very nice sequel. They have the uh, original Ghosts and Goblins over at the one in Brooklyn. Punch-Out! Original Punch-Out? Very, very cool. Only one that I've ever seen. This is Nintendo's arm wrestling. It's got your power button. Very cool. I've never played this game. This will be my very first time ever playing it. You got World Series, the season. Or I just remember the little guy would say, Thank you very much. And yes, Don Bluth's Dragon's Lair. Running on an original laser disc. Make sure I asked, I said, is this still running on original LaserDisc? And they said, yes, it is. It is still running. A nice uh, Atari Millipede. Fortunately, for guys in the UK didn't, never got to play this game. Of course, would not be a barcade without Donkey Kong. Very nice Donkey Kong. It's got the uh, silver. You can hear it. You can see it. Yes, the six-player X-Men. Oh, my goodness. It's been a very long time since I've seen a six-player unit. We used to play this at Space Plex all the time. Very, very nice. With, uh, Todd Tucky did uh, from TAT Amusements did a great video of uh, how you just put this thing together if you're shipping it. Basically, the control panel comes off in one piece, and uh, it's got the mirrored, mirrored um, right here. You can see the monitor there, and then the other monitor is right here. And there's pretty much like a hole behind the game that you can actually take the screen out and put it in so when you're storing the game or you're trying to move it that way you don't uh, lose anything so pretty cool how they uh, set that up so we're gonna go over here for uh, a little bit more of this other stuff they got a really really nice trim line space invaders from Tato really nice the little I love the little cabaret versions of space invaders usually most of the time these are the loudest games this is the Ballet Sente's Night Stalker, 1986. It's a driving and light gun game. Actually, it has a light gun. And uh, the, it's pretty funny. The um, If you go onto their uh, website, it says it's the highest earning kit game ever. And I guess a few years later, you know, Street Fighter 2 kind of beat the shit out of that. So, of course, Tato's Double Dragon. Uh, Bubble Bobble. Suddenly not up and running. But they'll have it up and running. This was at the one in uh, Brooklyn. Have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You grab the Shankara Stone, Indy. They have uh, Galaga. This is running on a multi board, so it's got Nappy and a couple of the other classic games in it. Let's see if I can wake it up. Nope. Uh, take my word for it. <laughs> it's, on, it's on a multi board, so it's just kind of running Galaga. NBA Jam TE. Yes, one of the very favorites. Attitude with Altitude. Oh, I'm sorry. Altitude with Attitude. 
It's a very nice, they got the NBA Jam. See the side of the Simpsons, still the original side art. Guys over here, what's on tap? Nothing. <laughs> Not yet, but they're coming, they're gonna have soups and sandwiches. Let's see, we got, oh my god, you're, you're never gonna see this. The original Atari trilogy of Star Wars, so. Have the original classic Star Wars. The monitor on this is really, really nice. It looks crystal clear. One that I have never gotten to play personally. I've seen a few of them, but they were never working. The upgrade of the Empire Strikes Back looks really, really nice. You have the other Ataris. Return of the Jedi. I've seen that. Of course, Hubert. Until uh, Mr. George Lutz will be out here uh, beating the hell out of this thing and uh, playing until the wee hours of the morning. And then, uh, sad to say, uh, the man that did the art for this game passed away, Mr. Python Angelou, but this is, of course, Joust. One of my very favorite games. Except I would say I'm more of a fan of Balloon Fight. Kind of label me as a heretic if you want. All right, awesome. Atari's Fire Truck from 1978. Very, very nice monitor on this. Shout out to my man, 2600, who is one of the uh, world record holders in the game on the, uh, the back of the truck. It gets to about 300 points and then the game just stops. So, pretty hard game. Exidy's crossbow. Really nice crossbow. Very nice. A nice uh, two-player celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. Of, uh, I'm sorry, I think it's the 20th anniversary. Yeah, because it came out in 94. So, Daytona USA. Still one of the best arcade racing games they ever made. And that's why everybody still offers it. Lunar Lander. I am terrible at this game. Seen a lot of people that are very good. Another one. A lot of uh, dedications out here. From uh, H.R. Geiger. It says Alien 3 The Gun. This came out in 93. Yes, you can see. Pulse Rifles. Something that the guys... At Global VR didn't do, or um, I'm trying to think the other company that did the uh, the newest one, the new uh, Alien Extermination, but they actually look like the pulse rifles from the movie. We got Smash TV, classic from Williams. Actually wearing a my uh, shirt from my uh, I'm sorry I'm I'm bugging out my Moon Patrol shirt. You have Mad Dog 2, Mad Dog McGree 2 from American Laser Games. Well, you'll never, haven't seen one of these in a very long time. I used to see the original a lot, but not the sequel. Stern's the Ant Eater. From, this one, uh, sadly, is not working, but we'll get it back up and running. And they've got uh, Zybots. Shout out to my man, Joel. The world record holder of Zybots. Pitfall 2, The Lost Caverns from Sega. Very nice. Old Atari cabinet. No one's got the Sega side, right? Let's go over here. Yes, time traveler. Hologram. Let's see if we can get the hologram. This game made it big. You can see I can put my hand through it. Ooh. Very nice. Has the hollow cubes. Used to see this game a lot and then it kind of just died out because I guess just the fan died. Yes, they have an environmental disc of Tron. It's a really nice one, has uh, full surround sound. When you step inside, it's got the uh, speakers behind you. It's got the nice full um, sound package. It's got the voices from the movie. Let's see inside. Here's the, uh, the stick that has the deflect button, so Tron holds up his hands, can block the shots. One of my favorites. Just a shame you don't get to see it that often because it didn't sell well, unlike the original. And of course, it has to be Barcade because they have Budweiser Tapper. They have to have the Budweiser Tapper. They have the, uh, the new stickers on the taps. I always like it has, has a little rail so if you come up to it with a bar stool you can sit and play it. Really cool stuff. Very nice. Two, two rare ones from Atari. First we have, you may have seen a video that I shot of it a while back. Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. This is actually, I'm um, pretty sure this is the conversion version of it. So. Still, still a really good game, and another one is Cyberball 2072. I'm pretty sure I played this back as a kid. I wasn't really big into the sports games, but really cool game. We have Sega's Altered Beast. 
It's actually running on a Japanese board. You can actually see it's got the Japanese characters and it looks, still looks a lot better than the American version. Here is Section Z from Capcom, 1985. Running an old uh, Defender cabinet. That's what they did, and now if the game wasn't making money, just slap, slap some new art, make a new game. Yes, Sega's Sega and Gremlins Frogger. Looks really, really nice. Yes, an Atari Tetris. Very nice. One of my favorites, I can't believe they got one. Space Harrier. There you go, Space Harrier. Running really nice, got the original flight yoke. The smaller unit, not the full deluxe one. Narc, no one had the guts until now, but fortunately it's not running well, but uh, hopefully it'll get back up and running. Narc has one of the, it's kind of like Paperboy, where it has that medium resolution monitor that's more of a pain in the butt to fix. Beautiful Mr. Do from Universal. It's got the nice uh, little color uh, wind bonus wheel. It's got the, uh, the control panel with those these weird buttons that Universal did on all their games. Very nice. So I'm going to spin around, show off the final four games that are here. You have, can, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Konami's, but uh, Stern brought it out in uh, the United States as Puyan, where the little pigs have to stop the little guys uh, from taking their babies. You pop the balloons and you kill the wolves. Crazy Climber from Tato. Another one from uh, when I was born, 81. Very, very nice. Nice cabinet. And yes, join the action. You have to have Rampage. Beautiful Rampage. One of my favorite games growing up as a kid. This one, they had these very unique joysticks. They go like that. They, they don't really have a click to them. I forget what they're called. I know there's a special term for them. And last but not least, Asteroids Deluxe from Atari. Very, very nice. So, kids... Right there, there is an overview before um, these guys are ready to get open of the new Barcade here in Manhattan. Please make sure to go check them out. We'll keep you updated of when the opening day is going to be. And you can check out their app on uh, iOS. And it'll tell you, like, once they get the taps up and running, it'll tell you what they actually have to drink. So, and of course, they always have their high scores that they keep up here. Enforces the dragon's lair. Very nice. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. All right, so right there, that is a walkthrough tour. Very nice of the newest barcade here in New York City. Check them out. I'm sure you do when they open up. Very nice. So once again, I'm Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you very, very much for watching, and we'll tune in with you again soon. Thanks for watching.